Dreamhack Atlanta was my final Smash 4 tournament. I entered Smash 4 singles and Smash 4 doubles with Fatality since MVD did not go, and overall it was a very pleasant experience, but I will get to that, so first I'm going to talk about doubles with Fatality. We've never teamed before, and I've never teamed with a Captain Falcon, and I don't think he has ever teamed with a Pikachu, so this was all very, very new to us. We got about 30 minutes of practice before the bracket started, and then we just went in. Round 1, we played against Bazooka and Doom, which was a Toon Link Rosa team, and we actually got some ridiculous ridiculous stuff. It was uh, kind of nasty. We got like knees into thunder and we got a bunch of other stuff into thunder and things into spike and it was just a fun time. Round two we played against Elden and Rosa gets fit and we actually lost game one because me and Fatality were playing a little bit too fast paced. We weren't really slowing it down which is what you have to do versus Bayonetta. But then game two we kind of regained our composure and then game three was fairly close but we did end up soliding it out barely on Lilac so we won that 2-1. In round three, we had to play against Mutace and Wrath, the Peach Sonic team, and both those players are very good in doubles, Wrath being a very passive Sonic, which is the correct way, in my opinion, to play Sonic in doubles, and then Mutace being Peach, one of the best Peaches in the world, very, very good at doubles. I've teamed with him before. It was very difficult. Unfortunately, this is off stream, and I do not remember who won game one and two individually, but I know going into game three, it was 1-1, and the games were so incredibly close. It was very back and forth. Neither of us had crazy synergy. We were all kind of just playing one-on-ones, or maybe like a hit and you know, hit or two here and there. It wasn't anything crazy, but we end up winning that 2-1 barely deal with me and Fatality. We're at like 100% as we're fighting a 1v1 versus, or rather a 2v1 versus Wrath. And it was just really stressful, but we ended up barely clutching it out. I think Fatality got an up air on Wrath at like 130. So we were able to take that to advance farther into winner's bracket. In winner's semifinals, me and Fatality played Captain Zack and Samsora, both of them amazing doubles players, and unfortunately we fell 2-0. Both games were very close, me and uh, Fatality almost both won 2v1s, games 1 and 2, but unfortunately we weren't able to clutch it out. They were just able to get slightly too, like, just slightly too clutch stocks, or Dia killed slightly earlier, or one of us fell into a witch time, or they edgeguarded Fatality really well, I think, in both of the games. So it was really difficult for us to just solidly stay either, like, even or ahead, and unfortunately playing from behind against a team such as Peach who was able to bait you and Bayonetta being Bayonetta, you know, which time generally like can play off stage. It's very, very difficult to come back against that, especially considering we were very explosive and we didn't really have too much ground control, unfortunately, because I'm used to teaming with, you know, a Diddy Kong who has Banana, so it was a little bit harder with Captain Falcon, so we were dropping into loser's bracket. In loser's bracket, we had to play against Sunido and Mr. Kamikaze, which was a Yoshi Sonic team. Unfortunately, it was off stream, even though it was top six losers, but we solidly won 2-0. I don't think either game was particularly close. Kamikaze played very, very well, and Sunido, obviously, we had already played a campy Sonic in terms of Wrath, so we were just kind of able to play our solid game that we kind of employed against Wrath and Mutase, and so we were able to win that 2-0 to advance into loser semifinals, where we had to play against Tweak and Karna. This set was pretty weird, because I'm pretty sure every single game something stupid happened in our favor, whether it was like Tweak SDing, or Karna randomly got hit out of his double jump or died from a spike really early, or there was one time I lived until like 170 and killed Karna at like 40, because I had max rage and just got like a random thunder read. So this game was kind of, or this set was kind of just awkward in general. Tweak actually went Lucina, uh, which is how he was able to SD. It wasn't Cloud because Cloud was banned and it wasn't Bayo. So it was kind of difficult for them to really get anything started. And when it was close, something would just randomly happen, I feel like, and we were just pulling ahead. So we did win that 3-0. In Losers Finals, we had to play against Captain Zack and Samsora. And while we finally won a game, we still lost that set 3-1. Pretty much very similar things to what happened in Winners, except in a longer set. So I'm not too upset about it. I think me and Fatality ended up playing well, especially considering our first time teaming together, our first time doing the team in general. You know, we don't have the synergy of, let's say, Rydia and Kashmir, who were the premier Pikachu Falcon team. But either way, I think we did pretty well. Third place, not too shabby, but let's go into singles. Round one, I played against Bag, and even though I recorded a bunch at this tournament, I actually forgot to record who this and my next opponent were, but I won 2-0 round one against him, and then I won 2-0 versus Uger in the next set. In Sammy's of the Pool, I had to play against Mr. Kamikaze, the Yoshi man that I had played in doubles, and while that set, you know, both games were fairly close, I did win solidly 2-0. And in winners finals of the pool, I had to play against Sandstorm, the winner of Brawlhalla there. Actually, a really solid remain, but I did win 2-0. I'm pretty sure game two was fairly close. Game one should have been close, but he messed up a Shoryu off of like a focus confirm. He got down hold Hadouken, uh, so he didn't kill me when he was supposed to, and then I kind of ran away with that stock. So I did win that 2-0 to advance into top 48 winners. 
In Top 48 Winners, I played against Rydia, the Pikachu main from Florida. He's probably the third best Pikachu at this point. I would solidly say me, Captain L, and then Rydia. But again, very, very close up. The last time I played him, I kind of gave him the hands. That was at one of the uh, TGL tournaments, but he actually played incredibly well. I was losing the majority of game one and only one because I got a pretty low percent, like 70-ish percent, up throw, wave bounce thunder at the edge of Smashville. Game two, he played incredibly solidly, kind of just walled me out with up tilts and was just honestly really on his stuff. He got some up throw thunders. He just played incredibly well, and so he won that game. In game three, I got the lead a little bit at the beginning. I think I took the first stock, but either way, he got me to like 50 or 60% before I killed him, and that's like fair down tilt. Oops, I kind of messed up kill percent. So that set was very, very stressful, actually. You know, I'm very impressed with how far he has come in Smash 4. I'm very proud of him, and I hope he continues playing that well in Ultimate. In Winner's Quarters, I actually played against Sam Sor, who I've played against a decent amount in the last couple months, but it was funny because he actually beat Captain L the round before that 2-0, like double two stock, and he's like, man, I'm so ready for you. I've learned so much stuff in the Pikachu matchup you about to go down and I was like oh, okay I guess we're gonna play we'll see how that happens and then uh it did not go well for him the games may have been close in percent but to me my mentality I was winning the entire time I wasn't particularly stressed because honestly I kind of broke down the peach matchup after I got more experience you know if you get peach to float the way you want her to you're already in an advantage whether you have you know thunder jolt to put there or you not have to respect our up air you know it's hard for peach to do her defensive floats the way she wants to that she can kind of you know do her float to kind of outspace what you want to do and then hit you for it you know if I'm forcing myself in there with a Thunder Jolt, she has to float high up of it, in which case I can get her R up air, you know, put her in position, get damaged slowly but surely. You know, I didn't really kill him particularly early, but it didn't matter because I was winning neutral so many more times than him that I just won 3-0 very solidly. Beating Samsora put me into top eight winners where I had to play Tweak, and I went in very, very confident versus Tweak due to my performance against him at Big House, but Tweak being one of the best players in the world, if not the best current active Smash 4 player in the world, was able to make a few adjustments, uh, you know, against me from Big House and was able to take it 3-0. You know, the one thing I can really think about was the fact that he was power shield jabbing a lot of my thunder jolts and I wasn't doing my moves quick enough. So he was just stuffing out forward air, stuffing out grabs and things like that. So, you know, in retrospect, I should have spaced my thunder jolts a little bit tighter to me. Or, you know, I also messed up one up throw thunder that was very important at the beginning of game one or I guess first stock game one because, you know, that would have killed him. And, you know, and I read the DI, but I messed up. Uh, I did like up throw skull bash by accident and then he killed me first. And so, you know, depending on the momentum, that changes a lot about the set, especially considering Tweet is a fairly emotional player. So, like, if stuff starts going wrong for him, it goes wrong harder and harder and harder. So unfortunately for me, I messed that up. And then again, he was just playing incredibly the entire set, like not taking anything away from him. I was playing honestly pretty well for the most part. You know, I messed up that one up the thunder and that's honestly the only real mistake that I can think of uh, from watching it back a couple times. So he just won that 3-0 very solidly. Good stuff to him. And that dropped me into losers where unfortunately for my last set of Smash 4 because I lost, uh, you know, I had to play against Rats Sonic. And I'm sure at this point you guys are aware that I do not like fighting Sonic. I think it is one of P Pikachu's worst matchups, if not his worst matchup. So I actually went Samus the first two games, and while they were close, I did end up losing those games, and then I went Pikachu game three, because, you know, if I'm gonna lose, I might as well go out with Pikachu, and again, while it was close, I still ended up losing. So Wrath, after beating Salem and Captain Zack, which were both very impressive wins, also beat me, and so he was going to advance to loser semis, and I was going to get a very respectable, but not where I wanted, fifth place, and my last Smash 4 tournament ever, fifth place in singles, third place in doubles, and honestly, Smash 4 has been a hell of a ride, but I will talk about that more in another video, so let's just talk about the tournament itself. I have been to a bunch of dream hacks. I honestly really like them. There are so many game devs, there are so many places that you can go, there are so many games to watch. That was also High Res Expo, so I was actually able to watch the end of the Smite Finals, which was incredibly hype. There was Overwatch, there was Collegiate League, there were so many things at this tournament. There was the Brawl Hollow World Finals, which again, as I mentioned, good stuff. Sandstorm, congratulations on uh, winning that. So if you guys want to follow him on Twitter, I'm putting his link down below just because I think he deserves a shout out because he was also a huge fan of mine. He's like, dude, like, it's crazy that I get to play against you, and I hope I do well in Brawl Hall, and then he would keep updating me, like, oh, you know, I'm in top 32 winners, oh, I'm in top 16 winners, oh, I'm in top 16 winners of doubles, so it was just really fun to just kind of connect with him and talk to him, and then he ended up winning the entire tournament, he won, like, $23,000 or something between doubles and singles, so good stuff to him, I'm very proud of you, dude. Again, DreamHack is an overall amazing event, they have guaranteed pots, they have so many setups, there are so many things to do at DreamHack in Atlanta, you know, it's a city that I am fairly used to due to the fact that I went to Clemson, South Carolina. Carolina for college, and so I just kind of know Atlanta fairly well. I really like the food there. I got a cookout twice, which I was very happy about. It was my birthday weekend, and I went to KBBQ with some friends, and overall, it was just a very pleasant experience for my last Smash 4 tournament. So even though, you know, I did felt like kind of somber afterwards, I just kind of felt like weird that like it was over, that like my Smash 4 career is over. Like not that I'm done playing Smash, obviously, because Smash Ultimate is coming out, and I'm very excited for that, but it felt really weird that, you know, in these four years, I had all this thing, like all these things go right, and then suddenly 
it was over and so I was kind of just like sitting and watching uh, you know the finals of I think it was Cell Calibur at the time and I was just like watching and just it felt really weird to me that it was over but I am still very very excited for you know Smash Ultimate I'm very happy with my career in Smash 4 and yeah that is going to be about it for this one and I will see you all next time Bye bye